Welcome. My name is Yara Willard from Harmonic Arts Botanical Dispensary and it is a beautiful day at the beginning of May here and we are hanging out with elderflower. Mmm, I just love this plant. It's really one of my favorites. It has such an effervescent, relaxing, uplifting scent. And so just hanging out with it, it's one of my just all-time highs of the season is spending time with elder. Now, this is our indigenous West Coast red elder, Zambucus uh, racemosa, not to be confused with the black elder, which is the Zambucus nigra, and that's the one where we use more of the berries for. But this one produces a red berry that is slightly toxic. In fact, the leaves, the stems, the barks, uh, the roots, they're all toxic of this plant. They produce a cyanide type compound, and that's also found in the seeds of the berries as it matures. But when it's young like this, we get that nice, gentle chemistry, that effervescent, relaxing, and just really gentle compounds that can be useful for medicine. So that's totally safe. And so what we'll do is we'll harvest these flowers. I'll usually pull it up like so in order to um, not take as much stem. Although these little stems that have just been developed and are brand new, they don't have much of that cyanide compound in them either. So really gentle, relaxing, and safe for children and elderly when used properly, as a, i.e. just as a flower. So what do we use it for? Well, it's got antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, anti-allergy compounds. It's high in quercetin, so and high in lots of flavonoid groups, which not only help build and boost the immune system, but help protect against that kind of um, immune allergy response that we get in the spring. So happens, it's spring, it's pollen season, it's allergy season, and here is a wonderful medicine to save the day. Everywhere on the west coast, you'll find elderflower all through the land. Some of the lands that have been carved up and some of the lands that are just the sides of roads and all that. Now, I don't recommend you harvest right on the side of the road like this, but it's important to just, you know, get to know what it looks like and where it is and then go find a patch you can. So, we we'll use this commonly in the spring for allergies, but also for that winter buildup at pre-immune season, especially in elderly and young children. Uh, they really respond well to this plant and we'll make a tea with it or we might make a cordial along that line. So it's also been shown to be that anti-inflammatory effect you know, in the digestive tract as well as relaxing the nervous system and helping in diaphoresis, which means there's a diaphoretic to help us sweat and pull out toxins when we get a flu. That's how we break the fever, so to speak. So um, if we have a fever. Anyway, I love it. I'm excited to harvest it right now and uh, this season I've been harvesting a bit and I just have been enjoying I'm making macerations with it. I'm doing a couple of macerated alcohols as well as making cordials. We'll make a stronger syrup that we'll then add into bubbly water and it'll make a really effervescent night, nice light elderflower drink. That's really simple. You basically boil a bit of water and add in some sweetener and then you take it off the heat and pack it full of elderflowers. And allow it to sit overnight and it'll pull up that elder flower essence. Now we don't want to boil the flowers, they're quite gentle. In fact, when I'm harvesting them, I want to use some kind of hard walled container so I don't crush them all. So I'm not going to use a soft wall bag. I'm just going to pull them off the stems like so. Pull this one. You see I'm going to leave as much of that stem as I can. We'll just put it in here. Use them right away. Uh, when you when you do harvest them, they're best to be made into medicine and processed within the first 24 hours. And in fact, Right when I get home, I'll harvest or I'll process the ones that I've harvested today and probably make a cordial with them. But they make a great tea, like I was saying, and just a wonderful medicine. So get out and check out elderflower. It's definitely worth knowing about and definitely a powerful, gentle, adivic kind of fun energy to be working with. So thanks for joining me. I'm Yarrow, and I hope you enjoyed the adventures with elderflower.